Do you know that the sun's magnetic field is about to flip its polarity? Recent research has unveiled that the sun's magnetic field, a critical component for life on Earth, originates far closer to its surface than ever anticipated. This revelation not only transforms our grasp of solar dynamics, but also enhances our ability to predict solar storms that impact everything from radio disruptions and blackouts to auroras, which has happened recently. In this video, we will explore the dramatic effects of a two million year old celestial event on Earth's climate and life, and discuss the innovative studies that brought these insights to light. So without further ado, let's get started. Two million years ago, the sun's journey through a dense interstellar hydrogen cloud significantly impacted our solar system's heliosphere, the protective bubble that shields Earth from cosmic radiation and rays. This wasn't just a fleeting encounter. It was a profound cosmic event that potentially compressed the heliosphere, increasing the influx of cosmic radiation to Earth. Such an increase matters greatly as the heliosphere acts like Earth's cosmic shield, absorbing harmful energies that could disrupt both our climate and the biological evolution of species. This hydrogen cloud, a component of the larger local interstellar cloud complex, comprised cold hydrogen atoms left from ancient celestial events, possibly even supernovae. As the sun passed through, it likely faced a temporary compression of the heliosphere, escalating the exposure of Earth to cosmic radiation. This escalation is pivotal because cosmic rays, when colliding with Earth's atmosphere, can trigger cascades of secondary particles that affect atmospheric chemistry and cloud cover, potentially altering climate patterns and explaining historical rapid climate changes. Support for these cosmic encounters is found in geological evidence. Isotopes such as iron-60 and plutonium-244, typically not formed naturally on Earth but found in ocean sediments and ice cores dating back to this period, suggest an abnormal influx of cosmic material, likely from the sun's passage through the hydrogen cloud. Additionally, the sun's regular magnetic field reversals occurring roughly every 11 years within the solar cycle, influence the frequency and intensity of solar phenomena, potentially magnified by such interstellar interactions. The last such reversal, marking the peak of solar activity and the shift towards solar minimum, occurred toward the end of 2013. These reversals are driven by the emergence of sunspots, which are magnetically complex regions on the sun's surface that can spawn significant solar events like flares and coronal mass ejections. These sunspots tend to form closer to the equator during solar maximum and migrate toward the poles, influencing the magnetic field's polarity shift. These events also shed light on the broader dynamics of our galaxy. As our solar system navigates through the Milky Way, it encounters various interstellar clouds, each with unique characteristics that can influence the heliosphere's interaction with cosmic rays differently. Increased radiation due to a compromised heliosphere can lead to numerous changes in Earth's atmosphere. An influx of cosmic rays, for instance, increases ionization, which has been linked to more cloud nucleation. This change in cloud cover can cool global temperatures, potentially triggering ice ages. These climatic shifts aren't just theoretical. They are supported by paleoclimatic evidence showing periods of significant cooling and glaciation that align with spikes in cosmic ray activity inferred from geological deposits. On a biological level, the increased exposure to cosmic radiation could have profound effects. Cosmic rays can cause mutations in DNA, leading to increased rates of genetic variation, a fundamental driver of evolution. This suggests that cosmic events accelerate evolutionary processes, possibly leading to the rapid emergence of new species or the extinction of others. This hypothesis is supported by findings of sudden shifts in the biodiversity record, corresponding to periods of high cosmic ray exposure, indicating a direct link between cosmic events and life's evolutionary trajectory. The intensified cosmic ray activity aligns with periods of heightened solar activity during the solar maximum, exacerbating their impacts. Increased sunspots and solar flares, typical of solar maximum, can enhance the effects of cosmic rays. 
These events underscore the complex interplay between solar and cosmic phenomena in shaping Earth's environmental and evolutionary history. Moreover, studying these impacts helps us understand the resilience and adaptability of life on Earth. For instance, some species show evidence of evolutionary adaptations to increased radiation, such as developing thicker fur or enhanced DNA repair mechanisms. These adaptations not only demonstrate life's capacity to cope with environmental stressors, but also highlight the dynamic nature of evolution under the influence of cosmic and solar forces. The recent findings by an international team of researchers, including significant contributions from MIT, suggest that the sun's magnetic field is generated much closer to its surface than previously believed. This revolutionary insight challenges the traditional deep dynamo theory, which posited that the sun's magnetic field was produced deep within the solar interior. This came from advanced simulations and helioseismology, a technique that involves studying sound waves traveling through the sun to probe its interior structure. These methods revealed that magnetic field generation occurs just below the solar surface, within the top 5 to 10% of the sun's radius. This shallow layer, where ionized gas or plasma moves dynamically, appears to be the real engine room of solar magnetic activity. The implications of this finding are profound for solar physics and our ability to predict solar events. Traditionally, solar models have struggled to accurately predict the emergence and evolution of sunspots and solar flares, which can have dramatic effects on Earth. By understanding that these features are influenced by processes occurring near the surface, scientists can refine their models to better forecast when and where solar storms might occur. Furthermore, this new model of solar magnetic field generation provides a fresh perspective on the sun's 11-year activity cycle. The cycle's impact on Earth's space weather has been observed but not fully explained by previous theories. The shallow dynamo theory suggests that the cyclical changes in solar magnetic activity, which influence solar flares and ejections, are directly tied to the dynamic processes observed just below the solar surface. Moreover, the research underscores the importance of surface-level phenomena in the broader context of stellar physics. It connects the behavior of other stellar objects, such as the accretion disks around black holes, to our understanding of our star. The processes observed in these different cosmic settings may be more similar than previously thought, offering new insights into the fundamental physics of magnetic fields across the universe. In conclusion, these groundbreaking discoveries not only deepen our understanding of how our sun operates, but also enhance our ability to protect Earth from the potential dangers of solar storms. The ongoing research will continue to explore these new models, potentially leading to more accurate predictions of solar activity and better preparedness for the impacts of space weather on our modern world. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Keep exploring the wonders of the universe until next time.